Well, my name is Herb Loss, you know that. Um, some of you may or may not know that uh, I used to be a Philadelphia Eagle football player. I played under Dick Vermeil in the 70s. Uh, I was known as the praying tailback because most of the praying that you see now in the end zone, by the grace of God, I was the first NFL player to, to kneel down and give thanks to God for uh, his goodness and his greatness in my life. When I got drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles, I told them I would play three years, and after three years, I would quit and go into some form of ministry, didn't know what type. And so I quit to go into ministry after three years. Everyone thought I was losing my mind, but I felt the hand of God on my life. And I looked at football very seriously, and the best I could do in football was to score a touchdown, get a first down, kick a field goal. Uh, that was about it. I got there, I dropped down on my knee and prayed. I said, thank you, Jesus. And then I said to myself, it's about time. <laughs> I just thought that expressing my faith publicly, regardless to what people say, would make no difference. I'm going to publicly declare my relationship with God, and the end zone became my pulpit. How it would holy be that? Forgive us our sins, Father. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. I wish somebody would say, let it loose, Reverend. Hallelujah. Thank you for telling me to let it loose. Uh, there is no weapon formed on earth that shall prosper against you and I. We are going to make it all things are possible with God. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Hath thou not known, hath thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Father, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainteth not, neither is there no searching in his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. Am I right about it, somebody? Hallelujah! 